Hi everybody, Cindy here. Welcome back to Pathways Homestead. So we did not do a lot of logging during the polar vortex. It hit us pretty hard. I know it hit a lot of people hard. And guys, I hope you are doing well. We did extremely well. It was cold. We lost one hen, but I think it was because of old age. She was extremely old. I've had her three years. Um, she was old when I got her and not laying well, and I just have held on to her. Um, so I think it was old age that actually got her and not really the polar vortex. Um, I, when I found her, she had just passed. The chicken house was very warm, not like overly warm, but it was warm compared to the outside temperatures. Nowhere near cold enough for her to have passed. And so I think it was just old age. We had two weeks of cold, 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 cold weather. And, um, you know, we've done cold weather like that before, just not here. Our lowest temperature was negative 21. And everybody made it. The little hen had already passed and we did have the pipes freeze that day. So we now know we can go through negative 15 without the pipes freezing under the trailer house, but not <laughs> negative 21. And Gary has a fabulous, fabulous system underneath the house to keep it warmed up. It did thaw out and it still was below freezing when it thawed. We went a little over 24 hours without water, not a long, long time when we were able to do that. We I say without water, without running water in the house. We were still able to access our water from our storage tank, use that water. It just was a little more work. And um, Gary did the brunt of the labor in that. And he did, he took such great care of Hannah and I and spoiled us and did the majority of the heavy work through the polar vortex and was a, was a hero. He was our hero through that whole thing. And um, it was cold. Um, we, are, we did extremely well. Uh, we did very, very well. We are very, very pleased with how well the homestead was set up. Gary and the guys did an amazing job getting us set up to make it through that. And you know, we, we did very little pre-prep for the house that we wouldn't normally do for winter time anyway. So we now know that if we're going to have temperatures low negative 15, we need to do a little bit more underneath the house near where that hot water closet is. I'm gonna go around and visit everybody since we haven't gotten to get a good look of every, at everybody through YouTube that in a week or so. So let's get going. <laughs> We're going to finish up with Bob and Little Mama. And as you can see, they did extremely well. They're doing great. And they had lots of hay to curl up in. I think we went through two big round bales, maybe three of hay to have them enough bedding to uh, make a nest out of and keep warm. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but the pigs will... will um, 
bury themselves in hay to keep themselves warm. And they would get in that little house and bury themselves up with hay, and they did great. Thanks for watching, you guys. I pray you had a blessed day.